Storage Mask Now I come to the step where I will finish creating the document template and define the storage mask that has already been mentioned several times with the variables that have just been created. To do this, I click on Save Document Template and Define Storage Mask. Then I select Create New Storage Mask. This storage mask is used when this document template has been recognized. First, I choose the location. I have already created the folder, Office Supplies, visible on the left, so I click on Select and select the corresponding main folder by clicking it once. I will use one of my variables for the subfolders. As I already mentioned during the workshop, I would like Paper Office to read out the invoice date when adding this document template and automatically create the year and month as subfolders. For this I use the option Manual Subfolder and the use of regular expressions. To get to my variables, I switch to the Variables tab and copy the variable labeled Date Split out. Now return to the Basic tab and add the variable you just copied under Manual Subfolder. First I want Paper Office to recognize the year and create it as a subfolder, that would be index 2. To do this, I add two square brackets after the regular expression and write the number 2 in. Then I want the subfolder with the month to be created under the year. To do this, I copy the entire variable, then insert a slash, paste the variable that has just been copied and replace the number 2 with 1. Document date. In the area of the basic properties, I will use the variable date for the date on document slash receipt. To do this, I switch to the variables tab, copy the variable as usual, go back to the basic properties and paste it into the corresponding field. Delivery date slash due date. In the due date section, I will use the date of delivery accordingly the variable, delivery date. Of course, variables can be used anywhere, but I would like to be notified about this on the day of delivery. To do this, I copy them out of the variable collection and add them under, due date on. Order number. I will now add the variable order number to the corresponding field under, custom fields. Custom fields in Paper Office are fields that can be stored in the properties of a document. You can create as many custom fields as you like in Paper Office, thus creating your own fields to note information and search for it explicitly. I have already created the field with the designation, order number, how this works is described in detail in our Comdesk, of course I add the link to the video description. I carry out the same process with the variable, customer number. Invoice number. Document data such as sums or invoice numbers are stored under the Receipt tab. To do this, I copy the variable and add it to the appropriate field. Order number. I will add the order number, which I have also saved as a variable, to the document comments. This is how the note with the order number is displayed when the document is called up. For this I copy the variable. Click with the left mouse button under Basic in the field Remarks and Notes. So that I know exactly that it is the order number, I copy the text from the OCR and add the variable after the text. Total A little digression beforehand, Paper Office is specially optimized for document entry. The recognized data are entered here next to the corresponding fields and are used, among other things, to search for them in Paper Office but mostly so that you can pass on the stored information together with the documents in the form of an Excel file to your tax advisor or evaluations of any kind using the Excel export and thus be able to carry out an evaluation from the extended search. So it makes a lot of sense that you keyword your document as best you can. Therefore, I copy the variable total and paste it into the total gross field under the receipt tab. Check whether the VAT rate fits, so Paper Office will automatically determine the net amount and insert it into the field. All the variables I had previously saved have now been added, so I click on the Basic tab and save my changes. Enter a name for the storage mask and click on OK. Now I just have to click on the green button below to activate the storage mask for the document template. 
the document is reanalyzed based on the information that has just been added. Complete. The original was recognized. I check briefly whether all values have been read out correctly. See that all variables have been completely read out and stored in the invoice and click on Save. Paper Office immediately created the two subfolders with the year 2021 and the month 10 and stored the invoice with the complete keywording. When I search for one of the stored information, the invoice that has just been stored appears as a search result. That's it with our series of workshops about document templates and regex applications. I hope we were able to help you. You can find further information and instructions in our comdesk at www.paperoffice.com or if you have an active Paper Office Plus, simply arrange a call back. And one of our supporters will be happy to help you by phone and team viewer or answer all your questions. Thank you for watching.